Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. This video is made to explain in more detail how we choose a correct U in example 2.4.1. Right? I hope you understand and enjoy this video. In example 2, in video 2.4.1, if we list all the appropriate function as U, okay, Let's say number 1, u equals to 1 over x. Number 2, let's say u equals to x squared. Number 3, let's say u equals to cos h, 1 over x. And number 4, let's say u equals to cos 1 over x. Right? We list down an appropriate u from the given function here. In the given question. Alright? Alright, we start with the first try. Let's say we try u equals to 1 over x. Okay. If you have no idea how to choose u, so you can list all the possible u. Okay. Alright. So, after we choose u equals to 1 over x, so we need to define u equals to 1 over x and then we differentiate to create the symbol of du. Alright. Because... The idea when we differentiate using u substitution, we need to write in terms of u and du. And to write in terms of du, we need to differentiate. Okay? Alright, so from here, we need to differentiate when we use u substitution. We have two parts. Okay? The first part is derivative and the second part is integration. Okay? Alright, so after we differentiate, before that, to differentiate 1 over x, we need to write into the form of x to the power of negative 1 using the properties of indices. And then we can differentiate using power rule. We just move constant negative 1 to the front and then x and then we reduce 1 from the exponent. So we get negative 2 here. And then we can write in terms of positive exponent. We move down using the properties of indices again. Okay. And after that, we write dx as a subject. How to write dx as a subject? We just cross multiply. Okay, we multiply du by negative x squared. So, we get negative x squared du and then 1 times dx equals to dx. Alright. And after that, we substitute back into the given question here. Okay. Alright, we just substitute u and dx only. Okay, into the given question. Okay, so now our u equals to 1 over x. So here we have 1 over x, so re we replace by u. Okay, and then from here, we have dx equals to negative x squared du. So we replace dx here by negative x squared du. Okay, that's why we get this. Okay, and then after that, we have x squared here and x squared in denominator here. So we can simplify. And after we simplify, we can move out constant negative here. Okay, we move out from integration sign. So we can write negative cos h u cos u du. Okay, from here, no more variable x. We success right in terms of u and du. Alright? And when we compare to the table of integral for hyperbolic function, okay, this is when we integrate hyperbolic function with respect to u, this column, okay. Look at formula number 6, okay. We have cos h u cos u du. Okay, we have same function here. Okay, means that we can integrate cos h u cos u du. Okay, which is equals to negative cos h u plus c. So here there is an appropriate formula to compare, right? So means that now we choose a correct u. Okay, because after we substitute and then we simplify and then when we compare, we can use an appropriate formula here. Okay, 
Alright, so from here, we can integrate with respect to u using hyperbolic rule because we have hyperbolic function here. Alright, and then we still have negative here after we integrate and then when we integrate cos h u cos u du, the answer equals to negative cos h u plus c. Right? And after that, we can multiply negative negative. So, we get positive cos h u plus c. And finally, when we use u substitution, integration using u substitution, we need to replace back u. Okay, our u equals to 1 over x. So, the final answer equals to cos h 1 over x plus c. Alright? Got it? Alright, let's say our second try. Okay, we choose u equals to x squared. Okay, so after we choose u equals to x squared, we have derivative part here. We define u equals to x squared and then we need to differentiate. So we get du over dx equals to 2x. And after that, we write dx as a subject, which is equals to du over 2x. We just cross multiply. And after that, we substitute back into the given function here, into the given question. So, we just replace u and dx only. Okay. So, our u now equals to x squared. So, from x squared here, we replace by u. Okay. From here. And then, we replace dx equals to du over 2x. Alright. We just replace u and dx only. Alright. Alright. So, from here. Okay. From here. We can't simplify all variable x. And we fail to write in terms of u and du. Okay. So, means that we choose the wrong u. Right. So, if we choose the wrong u, we cannot proceed with the integral. So, no need to proceed the integral because it's confirmed ke laut. Right? So, u equals to x squared is not suitable in this case. Right? Because we can't simplify in terms of whatever u and du. Got it? Alright, now we continue with the third try. Okay, from the list of possible u here. Okay, number three, u equals to cos h one over x. Okay, so now we choose u equals to cos h one over x. And as usual, when we use u substitution, when we integrate using u substitution, we need to differentiate, and finally we need to write dx as a subject. This is derivative part and this is integration part. Alright? Alright, how to differentiate cos h 1 over x? Okay? We can refer this formula. When we differentiate cos h x with, with respect to x, the answer equals to negative cos h x cos x. Okay? Now we have our x now is fx. Okay? So when we differentiate cos h fx, the answer equals to negative cos h fx, cos fx, and then times f prime x at the back. Okay. Why if we have single x here, we no need to write times something here? Because actually, it is multiplied by 1. Because when we differentiate x, it is equals to 1. So no need to write multiply by 1. 1. Because it doesn't change the original value or the original function. Alright? Alright, in this case, when we differentiate cos h 1 over x, now our fx equals to 1 over x. Okay? So, from this formula, when we differentiate cos h 1 over x, so we have negative cos h 1 over x, cos 1 over x, and after that, we need to differentiate fx. Means we need to differentiate 1 over x. To differentiate 1 over x, we need to write into the form of 
in this case, okay, we can write x to the power of negative 1. So, when we differentiate x to the power of negative 1 using power rule, we move negative 1 to the front and then x and then we reduce 1 from the exponent. So, we get negative x to the power of negative 2. This is our f prime x, okay? And then, we can multiply negative and negative here. So, we get positive. No need to write positive sign. And then, at the same time, we can move down. X to the power of negative 2. And when we move down using the properties of indices, we will have positive exponent. So, we get x squared here in denominator. And after that, we write the x as a subject. So, we just cross multiply. Okay? So, after we cross multiply here, so we get x squared du. And then, cos h 1 over x. x We get dx equals to x squared du over cos h 1 over x, cos 1 over x. Alright? And after that, we... Replace back into the original question. Okay. We just replace u and the x only. Okay. Our u equals to cos h 1 over x. Okay. This is our u. Okay. And our dx equals to x squared du over cos h 1 over x cos 1 over x. Okay. This is our dx. Alright. Alright, and then, after we replace u and dx, now we can simplify x squared from denominator and x squared here. Okay? And, we also can simplify cos 1 over x and cos 1 over x in denominator here. And, from u equals to cos h 1 over x, u here Actually, also, cos h 1 over x. So, we can simplify. Okay? So, we can simplify this one. And after we simplify all of this, so we get integration of 1 and then du. Okay? After we simplify all the function, we get 1. Not 0. Because 0 times du is 0. Means no more du. That's why we need to write 1 du. Okay? And then, from... From this integral, we can simplify all variable x, okay? No more variable x, okay? And then, let's say if we have integration of 1 dx, the answer equals to x plus c. Now, we have integration of 1 du and the answer equals to u plus c. So, now, we have an appropriate formula to integrate this function, okay? Means that we make a correct choice of u. Okay? Because we can integrate. Okay? Alright. So, we can proceed with the integral. When we integrate 1 du, the answer equals to u plus c. Okay? And after that, the final step every time when we use u substitution, when we integrate using u substitution, we need to replace back our u. Okay? And our u equals to cos h 1 over x plus c from here. Okay? So, this is the final answer. If we recall back our first try, okay? We try with u equals to 1 over x. Okay? This is also the correct choice of u. And we get the same answer. Cos h 1 over x plus c. Okay? Alright. From here, we get same answer. But different method. Because math is magic if the method is logic. Alright? Alright, that's why we get the same answer. Or we can check using symbollab.com. The syntax is like this. The, the integration sign we get from menu pack in symbollab.com. Okay? So, we integrate cos h 1 over x, cos 1 over x over x squared dx. After we press enter, this is the final answer. Alright? The final answer is 1 over sinh 1 over x plus c. And 1 over sinh means cos h. Okay? 
1 over sinh 1 over x means cosh 1 over x plus c. So, this is the final answer. Alright? And if we manage to find a suitable function, as u, so we do not have to try another function as u. So, we don't need to try with number 4, u equals to cosh 1 over x. Since we, we success when we try number 1 and number 3. Okay, number one and number three are the correct U. Okay, so we don't need to try with another function as U. Alright, got it? Ha, gitu. Okay, boleh faham ke?